Hey YouTube, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. And I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Brampton with uh, Simon Alpine 11 speed with the i2 system. So I will show you the slide and the detail like what all the part that you need to put on your Brampton and then uh, step by step to upgrade and make it ready in your Bramptons. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, in this section, I will divide it into two parts. And part one is the all the things that you need to know, all the parts that you need to know, like the hub, the motor unit, the sprocket, display, shifter, battery, and special wire, special tool, junction, and the real triangle. And then part two, I will gonna explain you uh, step by step to install. And this one we will have like a five step. Step one is uh, how to build the wheel. And I will explain you what all the things that you need to know, uh, what kind of rim do you need to install. And two is the pre-installations on the triangle and the motor unit, and also the tensioner. So this one is a bit tricky. So before we, we put it on all the drive train and the real triangle with the hub, with the wheel ready to your Brampton, you have to make sure that everything is going well there. Because you, you have to doing some modification also in the tensioner. Later I can show you the detail. And then step 3 is the battery location. This one is quite quite easy. You can just choose anywhere to put the battery but i have the good location for you the battery in the real triangle is also possible this is what what the kinetic guys done by them they put the battery in the in the real triangle and then the display at the shifter location this one is is depend on your preference so you can put it the display on the uh, handlebar on the middle or on the left or on the right it depends on you uh, and the shifter also is based on your like and step 5 is just a fine tuning so how to set all all of the uh, electric wire and how to connect all the component together and to make it video shorter I think I will just start from part 1 then maybe we will continue the part two in the another video. So I will just cut the video become two part, part one and part two. Let's jump to the part one now. This is the hub that we use for uh, if you want to use the Simon Alpha and 11 speed, especially the i2 system, then you have to use this series. So go check it out in the Google. And then actually this uh, Simon Alpha and 11 speed has like, if I remember like, a three series or two series this is the one that series I use it so for you if you want to use it then you can just search and then buy this one you don't need to search anything in the Google you can just use this one is right away because it's already for by me okay the series is SG7051-11 so 11 is the code for 11 speed this one also has the 8 speed with the i2 system also so you have a two option and this up has range 409 percent and then the step between gear 1 to gear 11 is not equal so take a note because uh, roll off has equal step between gear 1 to gear 14 so like the incremental from gear 1 to gear 2 gear 2 to gear 3 it's its gear has the same incremental 13% for roll-off but for Simon Alpine 11 speed it different for example gear 1 to gear 2 if I'm not wrong is around like 30% and from gear 2 to gear 3 I remember it's around like 13% uh, or 15% and the last gear from gear 10 to gear 11 is also 30% okay take a note there and this one is really important for you and point number two is the motor unit motor unit has two type 
the the series seven of seven of five s seven of five is the old one. This is the one that I use. I think you don't need to use the new one because the old one is also quite okay, and the price is uh, more cheaper than the new one. Uh, you can still get the new one from the market, and the second one is uh, the new one is UR five hundred. This one I never tried before, but for me. The first one, the S705, the old one is already uh, quite enough. It's really, really good. Next one is the sprocket. Uh, for this sprocket, actually the smallest one is only 18 tooth. So you cannot go uh, below this 18. So you have to consider if you use this one, means if you like to get the top speed, then you have to use bigger chain ring but if you want to climb then you can just use the smallest chain ring like uh, 52 50, 54 or something but if you want to get more speed then you have to install like 62 something which is is the biggest chain ring in the Brampton you can install okay this is the display and the display we have a lot of model the one that I use is the series for MT800 XT. Uh, for me, this is the best one because it has the option to adjust adjust if your uh, shifting not uh, not so smooth. For example, if you shifting from gear one to gear two, and then the shifter the shifting is not perfect, you will you will hear the sound clicking this kind of sound clicking you can just fix from the display so we have the the button here and if you push this button it will be go to the uh, shift shifting mode and then this shifting mode if you press the shifter up and down the correction will be goes like 0 0.1 millimeters so it can be fixed the clicking sounds from that gear okay so I recommended you to use this uh, uh, this display because this one has no ability to change that setting to adjust the setting. Okay. Next one, the shifter. Shifter is based on your preference. If you like this one, then you can use this one. If you like another one, like this one, is also you can use this one. And it has also the road bike shifter. Yeah, the one that the people install in the road bike. So it depends on you. For me, this one is the best one for Brampton. And for the battery, this is the battery that I use, DN100S Bluetooth DI2. And battery also has uh, many type. The one that I use is this one. And then uh, I also have this one last time. So this one we can, maybe if you want to design and then put the battery inside the seat port, you can use this one. Uh, but you have to uh, thinking about how to wire uh, the cable, okay? The special wire uh, to connect all the components together from the shifter display and the motor unit uh, you have to use this cable so you have to think uh, before you buy you have to really calculate how long is how long is the cable that you need so you can buy based on this uh, here so we have like they they have like 100 sorry 1400 millimeters the longest one is uh, 1600 millimeters it's depend on you need so before you buy it you you might need to check you might need to check how long the cable do you need so for example from from the display connect to the uh, to the battery and then from the battery connect to the motor you jump to the next uh, this is the special tools for from Seminole DI2 uh, they call is wiring plugging tools but this one is not necessary actually because you can just uh, plug and play the cable by your hands it's not really mandatory to use this tool so for me I suggest you you can buy this one if you want but if you don't want just next one is the junction wire so junction wire is the uh, it's just like the hub so we can see here 
uh, there are few cables coming to this junction and then this junction connect to another component for example this cable this cable connect to my display and then uh, this cable one of this cable connect to my motor unit and then another cable is connect to the battery okay so this one also has many type but if you want to install to Brampton or to another uh, bicycle you can just use this one it's also okay okay real triangle frame with the OLD uh, overlock distance or 135 millimeters so this one is mandatory so if you upgrade your Brampton become 11 speed or 14 speed with the roll-off because they use the standard uh, in general uh, bike is around like 135 millimeters so you have to change or you have to widen the widen the triangle but widen the triangle is really painful and it's not recommended for me it's not recommended because it's so difficult and uh, need to be done by professional people and I think that uh, not many garage they don't uh, they, they can do it this this kind of way so I suggest you to buy the I suggest you to buy the aftermarket uh, real triangle in this case in my brand I use the the one from kinetic so this is all the uh, option you can you can choose for your Brampton so we have the kinetic is made in UK they have a two type actually so the one with the rack and then the one is without the rack this is the one that I use without the rack and actually this uh, stringer was designed for roll of gear but you can just combine and install with the another uh, hub like Simon Alfine or Novinci or another hub yeah and the best one is the one from Russia they call it Posto so they build this one with the titanium and they build specially for roll-off hub but you can also fit on a Semono Alphine 11 speed but this one is damn expensive it's really really expensive and this is the one from China so if I check research from China they are two type so the first type is this one uh, they design with 135 millimeters also the OLD and this one with the plate the same the difference between these two this one is the uh, coming from the uh, China TI uh, which is uh, this store is quite famous they're selling the all the tit titanium stuff and the way they design this one is also like 135 millimeters but this flat is more thick because they consider for putting the uh, disc brake on this uh, triangle okay but for me the one that I use uh, from kinetic this one is really really good uh, the downside is this one is not the titanium it's just a normal chromely uh, steel so I hope someday they can build this one with the titanium I think it's better uh, last time I sent an email to them and then asking why they don't make this one from the titanium and because they say uh, this material is strongest than the titanium but I don't know because I don't uh, know much about this kind of material okay uh, from the part, uh, part one so let me uh, summarize so we have the hub and then the motor unit the sprocket display and then the shifter battery special wire and then special tool junction and then the real triangle the next step we will talk about how to put it on all the stuff to your Brampton so if you have any questions uh, do not hesitate to write down in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can get a notification from me if I upload the new video and let's hang out with me in Instagram and Twitter thank you very much see you in the next video part 2
Ntar sayang. Iya, 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 iya.